Well, hello everybody. I will try to make a strange sound of my voice because I think half a year ago, on the winter period of course, I've been in Samara in Taliati and we make a, uh, an episode about this. Oh, the sun is so warm. And I've promised that I will show you that uh, being in Samara is much more interesting in summer period. Like I said, I will get back here in half a year. So I did. And the thing is, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sober. Uh, we have two days <laughs> to make a video and we spend them here in Shalekhmet. And in few hours from at this moment, we have a train to Moscow. We don't have a video. And I hope you, you will get kind of experience the same with me now. Uh, I mean, I met my friend Andre again. We get drunk again. Samara. Let's talk about Samara because my friend. Oh, Samara is great. So just maybe once in a while I will be the person who will not try to impress you. I have just only one job, only one profit. And the person my uh, my boss maybe will send me on fire because I did not perform my duty, you know? But it all because Samara is great. You cannot work here. Samara is a place for having a rest better than in Switzerland, in Berlin, maybe in Bali, whatever. Samara is the best place ever. And that's why I am saying I'm sorry <laughs> we're not able to go to Samara. We're just staying around and, you know, just enjoying. Everything is absolutely great. I'm sorry, I'm on a vacation. The point is, if you have some plans, don't go to Samara, please. Just avoid Samara with any casualties, because... No, Samara is the best. Samara is the best, Andre. Samara is the best. And that is what we say Russian resort and spa. Real run. Sorry for, for microphones. I just decided to hold them like this to become kind of a journalist. I had a big plan on this day to show you around Samara. As I promised half a year ago on the winter episode of Samara in Taliati. Said that I will come back here in the summer period. So I did. But we're stuck on the island and we have a train today at 9. So I'm afraid I won't be able to show you everything I wanted in, in Samara. But I will show you something. But also, today we are here in Shalekhmet. It's kind of a village in the island. You can find yourself here also as a guest. This place is just wonderful. What else can I say? Amazing, gorgeous and very quiet. <laughs> As I was said, uh we didn't make it to Samara, we stayed on Shalekhmet on the riverside and now it's time for jumping. So stay around, press the hard button, press the hard button. Like my nephew saying, this Andre, he goes first, me second and 
Saran, don't forget to come to Samara. Go to Russia, go to Samara. <laughs> We're going home. Throw it in the water, boy. I'll move. Can you make the pancakes? Hello. This one should work out. Not a good try. So calm and quiet in here. Smells good. And there's some people come for a picnic. Here we are at Samara. When we came here, we've been picked up by Andre, my friend, at the bus station. The bus from Taliati, two hours, $6.5 for a person. We came to Samara, he picked us up. We take a drive to Novokurbyshevsk, to the Granny Poselok. From there, we take a boat to Shalekmet, on the other side of the Volga River, somewhere around there, where Andre have a summer house. Wonderful Samara. Wonderful Shalekhmet. Hello, this is a little bit of add uh, to a Samara episode. Thing is that we have a little technical problems, technical issues while we was in Samara, so we did not record everything we wanted, especially voiceover. So now I'll, I'm in Moscow, but I'll tell you a few things about Samara. First, traffic jams. There are huge traffic jams. Sometimes this is the biggest problem in Samara. If you get somewhere by the car, you can stuck into a traffic for hours. Uh, it's the first thing. Second, there is a metro line, just one. And I think the best thing is to find a place for living nearby the metro if you are not living in a center nearby the embankment. Because all the good things in Samara are on the embankment area. So you just can walk on. It's quite long, but everything is on the embankment, now nowhere else. And uh, if you live on an embankment near to the city center, it's okay. No metro is okay. But if you live somewhere far from it, then try to find a place nearby the metro. Because sometimes you'll be so happy that you can take a metro and make a quick ride. Uh, the first thing, second thing, go there by the summer period. No doubts, no, no other options available, I think. And don't forget to take your swimming pants and swimming shorts. Uh, if you like some beer, just go on the uh, sea bottom shop on the embankment and drink some beer there. That's the most important thing for you to know. And uh, yes, of course, on when you'll be on an embankment on a beach, there will be uh, many stops you can ask. Where can we find uh, Piriprava in Russian? Piriprava. Uh, where is Piriprava? Izvinite, gde Piriprava? You can say like this, Piriprava, and people will show you. 100 rubles and the boat will take you to the opposite side. There will be a schedule, so you'll take a find a, a time good timing for you to go back on the opposite shore there is a nature a clean water and wonderful places to have a best hours in Samara for you so definitely go to the opposite shore thank you this was Samara's so this is Samara one of the best cities in the world give me, give me. my friend speaks to me with an English language because everybody speaks English when someone speaks English. Just take a look at this. I think it's gorgeous. So just, you know, go to Samara, go to Russia. It's a really a good place to be in. And I think everybody should once in a while be in Samara because just take a look at this. I mean, it's a wonderful place where you can spend month, a year, your whole life just enjoying a uh, city from one side and the nature right at the same place short episode go to russia go to samara follow subscribe our channel ask something in commentary line 
bam here go videos from a drone stay with us we're about to get massive i mean powerful yeah.